everybody, welcome to my homestead and welcome to my channel. Um, in this video, we're going to be talking about a mega flash that was announced that this was a record breaking event. Uh, something that I didn't even really know existed. I've never heard of a mega flash before, but we're going to go over that in this video. So if you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe. Like this video if you end up liking it. Make sure to leave your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below and additional information. Also make sure to share this with anyone that might find this interesting. So Bob D uh, tipped me off to this story of um, this mega flash, which is basically just a gigantic um, bolt of, of, of lightning. Uh, it's cloud to cloud. It's, it doesn't go to the ground. But you can see it here. I guess this is an image of it. And it crossed three states. Now, this actually happened in 2020. But the announcement that this was a record-breaking event just came in on Monday. Okay? So, space images show 477-mile lightning mega flash that crossed three states and broke a world record. That's an interesting number, 477. Uh, it's also interesting that it happened in 2020. So, <clears throat> uh, I'm, I'm going to call this potentially a sign of the times. Anytime that we see something that hasn't happened before, or, or I guess in this case, in other words, um, something that breaks the record uh, is potentially a sign of the times. You know, this is a pretty extreme uh, thing that happened. Okay, so April 29th, 2020. You know what, I want to look that up on, let's look on uh, the Jewish calendar. I should have done this before I started the video, but let's see. Let's go to 2020, and sorry, this was on April 29th. I'm just curious if this was happening during Passover. No, it was not. Okay. Okay, another record was broken for the longest duration flash, or in other words, not how far it went, but how long it lasted in South America, which lasted 17.1 seconds. Kind of another interesting number, because I feel like I keep coming across 17 uh, on this channel, and I wish I would have kind of like kept track of it, because... It just keeps coming up. Uh, two things that I can think of is all, everything that happened in 2017. There, there were so many things that happened in 2017. And President Nelson is cr is currently the 17th president of the church. So it, to me, it's kind of an interesting number. So that just kind of stood out. Okay. <clears throat> A mega flash is not your standard cloud to ground lightning bolt. It's an enormous electric zigzag that travels from one electrified cloud to the next, almost instantane instantaneously. A big enough thunderstorm system can allow a mega flash to cover hundreds of miles and light the skies for more than 10 seconds. That's what happened over the southern United States on April 29th, 2020. An enormous bolt of lightning snaked through the thunderstorm clouds from just south of Houston to southern or southeastern Mississippi. It stretched 477 miles, equivalent to the distance between New York City and Columbus, Ohio. Uh, I don't know about you, but to me that is just that's fascinating. That's that's a really long distance. Okay, on Tuesday. Uh, the World Meteor Meteorological Organization certified the flash as the furthest traveling on record. Uh, it's about it's about 37 miles longer than the previous record holder, which streaked across southern Brazil in October 2018. So you see, I think I think that that's interesting that these two record-breaking mega flashes. They all they both happen within two years of each other, so it's almost like there's kind of a an ex, ex, um, escalation, and it makes me wonder: Are we going to see more this year, like more record breaking this year, next year, the year after that? I don't know. We'll just have to see. Okay, the WMO also certified a second record on June twenty on. A June 2020 mega flash over Uruguay in northern Argentina as the longest duration lightning flash on record. It lasted 17.1 seconds, just barely outlasting 
uh, a 16.73 second Argentinian Mega Flash in 2019, which previously held the record. Again, an another situation where, you know, the record being broken is how long it lasted. And both of these were uh, record breaking and within uh, just a year of each other, essentially. So it it's odd. Um, it seems like something is is up with these mega flashes, but uh, that's not surprising because we, we can tell and we can see that nature is just going berserk, um, especially over the last few years. Um, all you need to do is go to the channel Jason A or the Two Preachers. They cover these kind of things, and it's just nonstop. The scholarship really Mayhem. helped because all across the world. I was able to pay for books, and it kind of helped me find my passion. Where I've seen what. The I'm sorry about that. Okay. Let's see. Was there anything else? No. Okay. So, yeah. Thank you, Bob D, for pointing this out. So we had this gigantic, just amazing mega flash. Most likely a sign of the times, just a sign that weather is getting more and more extreme. Um, remember just recently in December, we had the, the quad state uh, tornado, uh, which I, I tried to find something more recent, but I wasn't able to because they were talking about how it's probably a record-breaking tornado as far as how far it went. Uh, down here, it says... Um, Offices with bordering jurisdictions are analyzing whether to the tornado went on to cover a total of 250 miles across Arkansas, Missouri, Tennessee, and Kentucky. If it did so, it would break a record set on March 18, 1925, when the tri-state tornado ripped across 219 miles of Missouri, Illinois, and Indiana. So, there really isn't anything official yet. Um, but I think most likely it probably did break that record. And uh, there were a lot of things that were interesting about that tornado, but I've already done a video about that. I'll, uh, I'll put that in the description below in case you want to check it out. So uh, these are some of the, thing, the things that I think we need to pay attention to. Uh, the world is in commotion, both in space and also in weather and also the earth and socially and politically and <clears throat> the church has been uh, very interesting the last few years. A lot is happening. So anyway, but that's all I have for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, again, if you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe. Like this video if you liked it. Make sure to leave your thoughts and comments in the comments below. Uh, if you have any additional information, please make sure to share it. Uh, also, make sure to share this with anybody, anyone that you might think would um, appreciate this. And I'll talk to you guys later.